All right, so I just had this thought, um, and I, I wanted to get it down somewhere uh, so that I can share it later, potentially. Um, so there's this mentality that I've come across many, many times in the discussion about college costs, and it's it's funny. So this this argument comes up in older generations. They like it seems like they really like to look down on us and our problems. Um, so so we say things like college should be affordable or like universally available. It sh it's such a standard that it should not cost this much to go to college. And the argument I hear back is like, well, I... I worked hard enough to put myself through college, so anybody, anybody should be able to do that. And while I understand the sentiment, it's totally oversimplified. One, it doesn't account for the inflation of college costs, uh, which is astronomical. Um, so it would take substantially more hours of work to pay for the same amount of college that that it did you know 20 30 40 years ago it's a completely different story um just for one um second there's this mentality that goes along with that which is like if i suffered for something you should also suffer for that thing if you want it if if you want what i have you should definitely you should put in all the work that i did to get there Again, like, I kind of get it, but uh, what if what if that thing didn't need to be suffered for in the first place? You know, just like, it, is it a good thing to get an education? Yeah, I don't think anyone would argue with that, that it's a good thing. So why make it harder to get it? And who is it a good thing for? Just you? If you're wanting to go to college, is it just good for you? Well, if, if someone's coming at it with the mentality of just like this American dream, like just your success, like your college means you get a good job, which, which means you get good money, which means you can have a nice house and you can have nice things. Well, then somebody, I could see how somebody's just like, well, you know, if you want nice things, you better go you better go struggle for it. Um, you know, you deserve to struggle for it. it. I don't know. I mean, there's problems there already, but you getting a college education does not just help you. It helps your entire society. And here's what's happening right now. There are people that want to help, in including me. I would like to get a psychology Degree, or I, I would like to be able to do therapy. Um, but I'm terrified of going back to school and like taking out loans. Um, there are scholarships out there. I'm hoping to find one. Maybe I can get a, get work that will help me pay for it. But, um, but like, it's really, it's very discouraging. It's very scary, like, what it what it costs, no matter how I figure out how to pay for it, what that school actually costs for me to go be able to be, like, a mental health worker. Like, do you think I want to do that just so that I can live in a nice house? I don't care about living in a nice house. Like, I literally do not care where I live as long as I can do the things that I love. Somebody who's going into, like, social work, or uh, health in either the physical or mental spheres is doing uh, is doing that because they care. I can't speak for everybody, but like in general, like if 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 you're genuinely invested in the health of other people, you should be doing that be because you care. Does a society need people that care? to be educated so that they can do their jobs. 
and do them well. Yes. So, like, if college is incredibly expensive and way, way, way harder to go to now than it used to be, you can't just say, hey, well, if it's if it's not worth it, you know, if college isn't worth it, the value, then don't, and then you shouldn't go to college. What you're saying is college should only be for the, the wealthy, essentially. You should only go to college if, if you can afford it. And if you can't, tough luck, go do something else. Well, those people that you're telling to go do something else might be the ones with the actual heart and mind to, to do these jobs. I've been told by multiple people that would be great at therapy. That it seems like it would come very naturally to me. And um, in some senses, I already do that to an extent in my life with the friends around me. I have a knack for it. I have a talent for it and a passion for it. I read in my own time about psychology and learn mental tools and absorb and redistribute what I know. And it helps people. Would it be good for me to have an education? Yeah. Would it be good for me? Yeah. But would it be good for all the people that I could help? Yes, even more so. So why is it just on me to figure out paying for college? Why is it just on me if what I learn is to help other people is for the good of a society of society at, at large as good for my community shouldn't there be help shouldn't that be more available shouldn't college being more available make the community better like just why wouldn't you why wouldn't you want to make it easier for the people in your community to learn how to be better helpers. Why wouldn't you want that to be easier? You're not willing, you're not willing to pay a little more taxes so that that person down the street who has no idea how they could ever afford college without, without going into crippling debt can go. Why wouldn't you, like, why wouldn't you be willing to just pay a little bit more so that everyone has the opportunity to go do these amazing things? You don't want to support slackers. Okay, the slackers aren't going to go to school. And if they go, they're going to figure out it's not for them. And they're going to fail and it's going to be a waste of their time. Just, just because society wasn't a certain way when you grew up in it doesn't mean that the generations ahead of you don't deserve a better way when a better way is being proposed. And I know that universal... Edu uh, college education hasn't really been in the forefront of our um, conversations lately. Um, it's been eclipsed by um, a lot of other things, uh, seemingly more important things. Um, I would say just as important because they're all intertwined. You discourage people from going to school and you discourage people from learning and when people aren't learning, they're not improving and they're stuck and they feel trapped and they are less equipped to be contributors to contributors to their society. And if people that have a passion for mental health, for example, like me, are discouraged from it or said, hey, like, you know, if you can't afford it, that's too bad. You gotta work harder. I am working hard. 
Um, if it's just that's too bad. It just means that you're not interested in the betterment of your community. And and it means that's one less person. It's one less person working on the the health of, of people around them. And it's much more than one less person. How many people that want to go to college feel like they utterly can't and so aren't? And then how many jobs does that mean aren't being filled by people they need to be filled with? Our jobs are going to be filled by the people who can afford it instead of filled by the people who would do those jobs well. And of course there's overlap. There's people that can afford it that will do those jobs well. But there's people that can afford it that won't. And there's people that would do the job well that can't afford it. That's absolutely true. You can't tell me that's not true. So if you just either want them to go into crippling debt or to just have no shot to say, well, you don't deserve college. Okay, well, you're just saying that you're not interested in, in the community. You're not interested in educated people. I am interested in having educated people around me. I'm not just interested in my education. I'm interested in everybody around me having education because an educated society is better than an uneducated society. Duh. raise my taxes and send my neighbor to school. It's easy.